The common misconception is that people with a disability need help. And that's just not always the case. I don't feel like I'm judged because I look different, but I feel like people think that I'm, what's the word I'm looking for? Helpless. When I'm out pumping gas or grocery shopping, they're always like, oh, let me help you do this. And I'm like, I don't need your help. And I think some people get offensive because I'm like, no, I got it. I was born with deformed arms. I don't know the exact diagnosis or the cause. My feet also are affected, I should say, and the only thing that bothers me is I can't wear open toe shoes. <laughs> because it just would look too funky, so yeah, I don't wear open toe shoes. I got right up on here before it Because I mean, I can really do just about everything um, that my friends or family members can do. There's not a specific name for my birth defect. All my everyday tasks, I do pretty easily. I wash dishes, I can cut grass, I can vacuum. I use my legs a lot to open stuff with tops because I used to use my mouth, but my teeth are, you know, wearing down. So I, but if I have to screw something, I'll put it in between my legs and open it that way. There's no everyday task that I can't do. For a living, I am a Uber and Lyft driver. I'm always driven a regular car, automatic of course, but this is how I hold the steering wheel. If I have to turn, I'll do this motion or whatever motion I need to turn, whichever way. Um, driving comes easy to me. I drive in rain, snow, whatever. I've never been in a car accident. So I think I drive excellent, better than people with hands, actually. I think most of my passengers are okay once they see that I can drive and I'm not gonna wreck or think they're okay with it. I would describe myself as a normal young lady living life, taking care of two kids. So I have two children and they are one in five. You can carry groceries, mm -hmm. you can still carry milk, mm -hmm. you can carry everything, mm -hmm. but not the moon. Not the moon. Or, or the earth. The only thing that I was having trouble with, I was like teaching my son how to wash his hands. Because of course my hand does not look like his hands. So I was trying to teach him how to rub his hands together and do the front and the back of his hands. Like that was difficult for me because I didn't have fingers to show him this is what you're supposed to do. And you're super duper proud of her. And a big old kiss. Can I have a big old kiss? It doesn't bother me that people look. I remain positive because I think my support system, as far as my friends. I mean, we joke about my hand. They call them nubs, so we joke about my nubs all the time. This one is the nub and this one is the hook. So it depends on what we need. So we'll say, Jenny, use the nub and Jenny, use the hook. So, so we can joke about it, but nobody else, oh, that's not going to be tolerated. Well, some people assume that I was like in this tragic accident or whatever. And then some people, because the way they look, you can tell that it's like a birth defect. This nub is stronger than anybody's punch, I know. Yeah. She, she'll break your bone. People just kept telling me, oh, you're so inspiring, you know. I had started this organization, Inspiring with Helping Hands. I was like, you know, I'm going to share my story. Maybe I can help somebody else. And today is my sister's birthday. I started the YouTube channel just to, like, give a visual of what I can do. I know I did a couple of videos of me driving, um, pumping gas, grocery shopping. Watch her on YouTube. <laughs> Everything we can do, she can do without hands. I think I'm a good person. I think I inspire people. I do everything that all my friends who have hands do, so I haven't let it stop me from doing anything.